In this video, we're going to do some questions about regular languages. So for the first one, we're going to determine if the string 00010 is in the language for each language presented. So uh, a quick reminder is that if we have a language E or sigma, which is, related, which is 01, then sigma star is going to be all possible outputs. So it could be the empty, it could be zero, it could be one, it could be zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. So it's all possible combinations. So when we see a star here, that means that we can have zero of those, one of those, two of those, three of those, so on and so forth. Okay, so quick reminder, let's take a look at the first one. L1 is zero, one star. So this basically says we can produce any string of zero and one. So of course, zero, 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 one, zero is going to be in this language because we can produce anything we want. Okay, second language, zero, zero star, one, zero star. So this means we can have any amount of zero, zeros we want, but they have to be in pairs. So we can have zero zero zeros we can have zero 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 and then we can have any number of one zeros but again this could be no one zeros one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero so on and so forth so can we get three zeros and then a one zero well the answer is no we can't because we cannot get three zeros out of this first part here so the answer is no the closest we can get is 0010 or 000010. We cannot get just three zeros with the second language. Okay, the third one is really complicated. Essentially, we have three zeros. We have a zero star, a one star, a zero zero star, and then a zero. So remember, all we want are three zeros, a one, and a zero. Well, the first part says, okay, we have to have three zeros. And then we go along, we can put some stuff in between, and then we have to end it with a zero. So is there any way out of this part here that we can get just a one out of it? And the answer is yes. So first of all, we take zero of these zeros, we take one of these ones, and then we take zero of these zero zeros. And then our resulting string is zero, zero, one, zero. So for language three, we are good. Okay, so that's the first question. The second question, I have sigma is xy, and we want to find the language in sigma star that accepts certain strings. So before we went uh, from a language and we tried to see, okay, is the string in there? And now we're saying, okay, we want to find a language that only accepts certain strings. So we want to reproduce that regular language that we were limited to in the first question. On the first one, we want to find a language that contains at least one x. So that's the only requirement. We just need one x. It can accept everything as long as it has one x. So we know that at some point there has to have an x. And then, well, before it, we can have any number of x and y's. So we can have x, y star on the left. And then on the right, we can also have any number of x's and y's. So this would be a language that accepts anything with at least one x. So I'm not going to put uh, curly brackets around just singletons here, but this is saying, look, we can have anything, then we have to have an x, and then we can have anything after it. So this is good. Okay, language two, it begins with an x, ends in y, x, y, or it does both. Okay, so we might have to take a union here. So the first one begins with an x. So our requirement is we have an x here. And then it can do anything it wants. So then we can take any pairs of x and y, any set of x, y, and we'll accept the string. Then we're gonna take the union of all the strings that end in y, x, y. So again, the first bit can be anything in the second set, and then it has to end in y, x, y. So here we're good. So this one is beginning with x. 
and the second one ends in yxy. Okay, so the third question. L contains exactly two x's, and they don't necessarily have to be together. So what this means is we have to have an x somewhere. We have to have another x somewhere. And then before, in the middle, and after, we can have any number of y's. So before, we can have y star. In the middle, we can have y star. And after, we can have y star. So this would be the language that contains exactly two x's. And again, uh, I don't have the curly braces around the y's, but there's only one symbol there, so I'm just omitting it. So those were questions on formal languages. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.